Every year, as y'all know, if you follow me on Instagram, I do my blessings jar like year end review. For those of you who don't know what the blessings jar is, I go into it more in this video that I made last year. Anytime you find yourself saying like, yo, thank you so much, God, you're so grateful, write it on a paper, you put it in this jar. And the most important part is to make sure that this jar is somewhere where you see it every day so that you don't forget. Cause the worst thing is to get to the end of the year and realize you only got like four pieces of paper in there. <laughs> it's been a good year. There's definitely been like it's obstacles don't get it twisted at all please the life or my life rather is far from perfect but i wanted to talk about my top five blessings of this year or at least the top five that i can share with you because you know some things are personal yeah, that really sucks because I have some more that I would love to share with you guys, but you know, they involve other people and everything's not for sharing all the time. Let's go through those blessings. This first one is I hit five figures with my social media brand. This is why you gotta listen to God, y'all, because I know it's something I should have done. I definitely felt led to do that, but I was being lazy, y'all. I was being lazy. But when I really like buckled down and sat down and like studied this and put my time into it, I just have to say God has been so good because as I've mentioned time and time again, you don't have to have 10K followers even 5k I have 4k you can make money but it's really about strategy and being smart about it and I will say definitely check out this playlist of videos that I have talking about engagement because I'm sharing my journey my influencer journey I also offer consultations which will be below but it's really about being smart about it okay if you have a service that you can offer great you know I'm a content creator right so that is in all honesty where I'm getting a lot of my payment from or a lot of my deals from so it was just really great and a blessing because I think I literally started studying this like maybe a month before my job let me go. And yo, to see the way God came through on this, to hit that in your first year is really amazing. So I'm really grateful to God and I am grateful to the brands that hired me. Y'all do. And you know why this is an even bigger blessing? Because one of my goals this year was to lay a new foundation, financial foundation. It actually was last year, but now I wanted to reach level two of that. And we definitely here. So thank you, God. Like it allowed me to just it's just a blessing it's a blessing we ain't balling yet though don't get twisted all right number two so y'all already saw this one decor in my apartment you know last year if you watched the video last year that i got the apartment and that once again listen to god y'all listen to god because if i had not listened to him i would not be here and if i was not here i probably would not have had the decor that i have in my apartment because the space that i was going to take it's like it would be a waste of time to even decorate let me just put it that way so god is so good like let me just say this to y'all if you ever feel like God is telling you to do A, but you really want to do B, and A seems like why? You don't understand, but like logically B makes sense. Just don't do it. Just go with what God is showing you. He knows what he's talking about. This has happened to me several times in my life. And in the new year, I'm gonna be sharing another grand story with you. I cannot wait, bucket list item completed, but it would have never happened if I did not listen to God. Yo, the blessings that I would have cut myself off from. And don't get it twisted. I have cut myself off from these blessings, unfortunately. And that's what I've learned from. And that's why I'm like, you know what? You say it, God, I'll do it. No more, say no more. I don't even ask. I'm trying to figure out like, what does this mean? Why? What? Okay, you got it. All right, number three. Okay, so this is one like some folks might laugh at, but it is major for me. I got really good at my makeup. And maybe you saw me before and you were like, your makeup looks fine before. But it just wasn't given what I needed it uh, to give. And I felt like I would just kind of like, I didn't really have like a big strategy. I just kind of did it and hope for the best. But I just feel like I learned how to best present myself. And I'm still working on it, but we have come so far. And I also feel like I can consistently create the same look and I have logic and rhyme and reason to the things that I do and I love it I love it and I'm actually at a point where I'm like ready to start having fun with makeup and like I'm not trying to be a makeup artist but like you know let's throw some colors in there let's do some different things but as you guys know I'm on my femininity journey we started out with this video about tailoring our pants and I will be definitely sharing with you the makeup things that I have learned so don't worry that video is coming the skin video is coming too I'm still trying to figure out a few more things like got a little acne situation once we take care of that then I'll feel confident making full recommendations to you guys about like skin products and things like that. So number four, 
So here's a funny story. When it comes to working for BET and Complex, they're actually companies that I really wanted to work for. Sadly, they were top on my list. For those of you who don't know, I'm a video producer. I had gone in for interviews in both companies, made it to like the top round, and then they just didn't take me. You know, the interesting thing is when I think about the type of projects that I was planning to work on, they weren't projects that I really would have been excited about. What was exciting for me is the opportunity to get the foot in the door, prove myself, and then be able to move on to other projects that excite me a little bit more. But here's the grand thing, and once again, maybe this video should be titled, Listen to God. <laughs> Because in both cases, I realized, I didn't realize the same thing happened in both situations, but he told me to call the people I knew that worked there, who just happened to be decision makers. And the funny thing is not with the intention of getting a job, because by this point in the pandemic, I was kind of over the companies. Not that I didn't want to work for them, but I was just kind of like, you know, maybe this is just not going to happen. It's fine. Let's move on with life. I don't like to hold on to things for too long. But when I call these people, I genuinely call them to like check in, to say what's up for one person, I should say. And then the second person genuinely just checked in to see how their birthday was going. And then both of these things led to jobs. Now, I know someone else will be watching this and be like, yeah, it's called networking. That's what you're supposed to do. You're not listening. The crazy part is God told me to call them or text. One person text, one person call. God told me to. That's the crazy part. And how is it that right at that very moment when he told me a job offer comes like that don't like what? That don't happen every day. I hit people up all the time. I don't be getting jobs off of hitting people up. We have conversations move on with life anyways so this goes into my blessings jar because it was something that i thought was a done deal and like the way god worked that out i was like yeah i enjoyed the experience it was a great time and i ended up oh i didn't tell you all the most important part i ended up working on projects that actually intrigued me and excited me and i could be passionate about so i was excited about that and it just goes to show like i don't know it's not worth it to force things because yeah that time it just would have been bad god is good god is good me not getting those jobs before because it, it nah i didn't need it let that be a lesson to y'all too like sometimes when he takes away things that you really really want it could be a blessing as well and a blessing that you might not even realize is a blessing until later okay so number five might not mean anything to you but it means a lot to me i met a good amount of people from st kitts and nevis which is where my family is from my parents are from there who are my age i have never known people my age from st kitts and nevis like aside from cousins and things like that so thank you clubhouse you guys the reason that happened that's great like i had met a few people the previous year what up esther what up kiva what up kara the amount of people i know now from there that are around my age is pretty dope like i did not see that coming i was not expecting that and yeah that excited me and in case you just happen to be like my friend girdley who did not get it initially girdley let me ask you this question how many people do you know from St. Kitts and Nevis? Is it more than 10? Is it more than five? Is it more than two? Yeah, exactly. This is why I'm excited. I know a million Haitians, like what in the world? How many people from St. Kitts and Nevis do you know? And then she finally got it, but yeah. So not a lot of people from there. So to meet people, meet people your age and people that you can relate to and then people that you can build your building relationships with is like dope. It's awesome. Then on top of that, I will say I made some really great Christian relationships as well that I was really excited about. I feel like this year God introduced me to people who I really could relate to, people who seemed like us faith aside, I would be friends with them anyways. And so that was really dope because I know it's hard out here on this journey. It's hard to find really good Christian friends that you just, it's hard to make friends, period. And then on top of that, like the percentage of Christians is that much smaller. So that in itself, those two things, those two friendship circles that are building was a major blessing for me. So that's 2021 in review y'all once again i'm telling you if you have not done this blessings jar do it try it it is so amazing like i open this at the end of the year yes but i also open it when i'm feeling down when i'm feeling hopeless and when i'm just joyful and i'm like what else has happened this year when i'm bored like it's just an amazing thing to happen something to have something so simple but something so impactful and so if you have the opportunity watch my video that i made last year i'll link it in the description on how to do the blessing jar. it is absolutely worth it you like this video y'all of course i got another one for you enjoy